I'm an ace on the river, not playing cards. Alcohol and reefer, that's my A&R. Now I'm flying. Hey guys, me, Pure Red Fish here. Today with another video, uh, I will be talking about a pretty sad topic today with you guys. It's a little bit of a different video for you guys. It's just going to be me talking about tags um, and the termination of YouTube channels today. And um, yeah, I actually made a discussion video on this and a lot of other things in the YouTube community uh, about my channel, other people's channels. And it, it was just, I, I was hesitating or I was nervous to upload it and I haven't uploaded it yet. But if you guys want to or if you want me to upload it, just leave a comment down below saying upload the discussion video or whatever uh, it's quite long it's like 20 minutes long so uh, just leave a comment down below if you guys want to see that but uh, yeah other than that I'm just gonna like start talking about these topics and what has been happening lately in the YouTube community so basically um, it's been pretty sad lately and a lot of channels have actually been terminated and that's why it's been sad um, ever since Google Plus or Google or YouTube whatever updated their shit uh, their website or whatever uh, just YouTube um, ever since they updated it with Google Plus and they forced everyone to have that, uh, everything has just gone downhill from there, and basically a whole bunch of channels have been terminated ever since, and, uh, yeah, their new, like, rules on community guidelines strikes or whatever, uh, and copyright strikes, it's just complete bullshit, the system is automated, at least have someone manually check it every once in a while, or check, uh, like, the flagged videos and stuff like that. But they have a fucking system that just automatically does it, and it's getting people terminated from YouTube for spam, uh, for excessive tags and stuff like that. And I will actually explain what that is right now. So if you don't know, meta tags or uh, spam tags or excessive tags, whatever you want to call it, is actually where uh, you place a certain tag in the description of a video. You type out a word. Uh, if you copy that word over a certain amount of times and paste it a certain amount of times, uh, you could possibly get a community guideline strike for spammed or meta tags. But the only way it would be perfectly fine is if I just typed, uh, say, GTA 5 Online uh, in the description as, like, extra tags under that bar or whatever that I type in. Um, and that would be completely fine, hopefully, because I don't think there's any way you can get a community guideline strike uh, just for typing that into the description. And, um, yeah, basically, uh, misleading tags, that's the next kind of tag, uh, is basically something that is completely irrelevant to the video, uh, which means that is completely different to the video or completely opposite of the video. So say if I made a GTA 5 online video, I was in GTA 5 playing around, shooting players and stuff like that, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna put some extra tags in the description, and then I type in Star Wars fight or some shit. Uh, that's completely irrelevant, and then you could get a community guideline strike for misleading tags um, if someone wanted to flag your video down or report you for that. Now, uh, I think that's kind of, well, that's the only thing that I would think that is alright to get a strike for because, like, misleading tags, that's not alright, uh, it's not relevant, you're just trying to get tags from someone else's videos or, or views from someone else's videos, sorry, because, like, if someone had that, if someone had that uh, tag in the description of their video and it was, like, a Star Wars video or some shit for some reason, um, and and then you had Star Wars in your description of a GTA 5 online video, then your video would come up after you watch that person's kind of video, uh, and then you would get views off of his video, and it's just, it's just weird and kind of confusing, but hopefully you guys understand what I'm trying to explain. Now, there is actually a tag box when you upload a video where you can put tags, uh, but that almost... That, that does that does almost nothing um, unless you put other YouTubers' names in there, which actually help out a lot, which I've never done. You can actually go check with that vidIQ shit. Uh, I've never done that. It's like the, the vidIQ is actually like an extension to Chrome if you want to download that. But uh, I've never done that. And basically, if you put another YouTuber's name in that tag box, say I put Vanos Gaming, uh, and you watch one of his videos, um, and my video had enough views or something, enough likes, um, then after you watch this video, my video would come up either on the recommended page or the suggested suggestions uh video video suggestions page or whatever uh right next to the video now that's kind of like bullshit and that's kind of view whoring and stuff like that but that's a really good tactic uh, that people use to get views and a lot of bigger youtubers actually use that and they do not get in trouble for it because they're a big youtuber now the biggest youtuber i know that got terminated is actually mtd or mr technical difficult uh it was about it was like a few weeks ago probably four weeks ago a month ago i have no idea but uh, i'm pretty sure his uh, channel got terminated for spam tags i think it was in the description of a video uh, it was like a call of duty video from a year or two ago that he said uh, he explained it in his video he didn't even see that pissed off because but he actually did seem pretty like okay with it because he was like oh it was my fault 
Um, I already had two strikes, and this is my third one, and I deserve it. Now, Mr. Technical Difficult is still on YouTube. He had two other channels, um, three in total, and the one that got terminated uh, got terminated, and it's gone. And now, uh, basically, you are not allowed to own any other YouTube channels if one of your channels have been terminated. So, uh, yeah, he's very, very lucky that he's not terminated right now on those two other channels. But uh, maybe he's not the complete owner because you do have to be the owner of the channel, and people need to have proof that you're the owner of... Uh, of another channel um, after one got terminated um, if, if you are if you get caught um, if you're an owner of a channel after another channel of yours got terminated uh, then someone can actually file a report or whatever to YouTube um, if you get caught or if they know and um, yeah they can actually take down your channel and terminate that one and terminate any account from there on that you make um, but it, like I, I, that's bullshit too so you only get one chance on YouTube if you fuck it up if you get the three strikes and you're out, uh, then you're basically off of YouTube forever unless you somehow change your voice or, or get someone else to own your channel, which is actually a really good idea. Now, uh, basically, uh, like I said, uh, I, I don't think I explained it yet in this video, um, but basically three strikes, you're out of, of, of YouTube forever. If you get three community guideline strikes, um, you're out of YouTube and your YouTube channel is terminated. Now, basically, uh, one strike is a warning, two strikes is a suspension, and like I said, three strikes is a termination of your YouTube account. So, uh, yeah, basically, three strikes, you're out, you're never on YouTube again, unless, like I said, uh, you can change your accent or your voice or however you talk, or, uh, someone else owns your channel. So, um, yeah, that's really about it. I, that's really all I have for this video. Um, the most recent YouTuber that I know got, that, uh, got, um, terminated from YouTube was Kronos. He got banned or terminated from YouTube for excessive tag spam, um, pretty sure in the description. Um, it also counts if it is in the tag box as well, so be careful of that. But, um, yeah. Yeah, MTD is the biggest one, and Kronos is the most recent one. There's a lot more, and uh, basically what started the shitstorm is when Google Plus updated their shit with the new copyright strikes and community guidelines and all that bullshit. And uh, yeah, the first YouTuber I knew that went down was actually Trevcraft Pro. So uh, yeah, I, I don't know, man. It's it's just a rough place on YouTube right now. It's just complete bullshit. The tags get your video out there. They get it seen, and that's the only chance for smaller YouTubers to get big. And um, yeah, any chance there's there's almost no chance for smaller youtubers like in the future or even now uh if there is no tag since they're trying to put the hammer down on tags i don't think there will be any chance for smaller youtubers um i'm not trying to say there 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 won't be but th there's not just going to be much if you can't use tags because tags is what help grow your video or it makes other people see your video or or yeah you get more views you get more subscribers it grows your channel and there's just a lot of tactics people use and there's a lot of just fucked up ways that people use things to give views and stuff like that but i really support tags and hopefully you do too it's not really harmful whatsoever it's just a few goddamn words and it just gets people terminated off of youtube so um yeah that's really about it that's really all i have for this video hopefully you guys enjoy uh if you did please leave a like comment subscribe don't forget to comment down below what you think about all this and what's going on and also comment if you guys want me to upload that discussion video that i was talking about uh this was a pretty long video as well i guess you could say uh longer than my my normal tutorials and videos and stuff like that but uh yeah it's like a 17 minute long discussion video if you guys want to see that uh it will be uploaded probably later today or tomorrow whenever um if you guys want to see it just comment down below it's up to you but um yeah other than that thank you guys for watching and uh yeah i will see you guys next video peace